Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the connection was denied because the user account is not authorized for remote login. So, if you're perhaps experiencing insufficient permissions from your user account when, when trying to access the host, this tutorial will be for you. So, we are going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just off one start button one time. Type in local security policy. When the best manager should come back with local security policy here, you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. Okay, so once the local security policy window is open here, we're going to go expand the local policies folder on the left side. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. And now you want to expand the user rights assignment. So expand that one as well. And now on the right side, you want to look for something that says allow logon through remote desktop services. Right here. And you want to double click on it. So you want to make sure it says remote desktop users in here. If you do not see anything that says that, you want to left click on add user or group. And then inside this field here, you want to type in remote, exactly it appears on my screen, remote desktop users. And you want to make sure it's all spelled perfectly, exactly, correctly, how I have it on my screen here. Capital R in remote, D in desktop, and U in users. So exactly as it appears. Left click on OK. And then once you've done that, you'd want to go ahead and left click on OK just to name it. However, since I already have one currently on here and it's already been made, I'm not going to actually save it because you can see I already have one right here. But again, if you did not see remote desktop users, you'd want to set that right there. And then just left click on OK to save the change at that point. I would suggest restarting your computer. You can also alternatively, instead of restarting it, you can just open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. And then if you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevate command line window, you want to type in GP update. So again, G P U D A T E and then space forward slash force and the force should be attached to that forward slash. So exactly it appears on my screen here. I want to enter on your keyboard. And once you're done with that, if you actually had created a new user back there, you would see that it should be able to run successfully. So restart your guys' computer and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So pretty straightforward. I do I was able to help you guys out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.